How to find royalty-free images to use on your website, blog or in presentations using Flickr.com. My name is Krishna Day. You'll find me at KrishnaDay.com or on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash Krishna Day. If you're looking to get more engagement on your content, it could be in fact on your Facebook page, your blog, or perhaps you're looking for presentation material and images to put into presentations, you need to make sure that you're using images that you've got the rights to use in terms of copyright. A great platform for you to find images is Flickr. Let's go over there now and find images that we could use commercially over on Flickr. At the top of Flickr you can put in your search term and I'm going to search for the word rugby. This has now brought me content from everybody who've actually tagged their photographs on Flickr using the word rugby. But if I go to the advanced search, I can find images that I can use because of the license that those photographers have given it. Let's go there now. In here, I can now say, OK, I only want to look for photographs and I only want to search for content within Creative Commons. And let's say I want to use content commercially, I can actually tick that box and do I want to find content to modify, adapt or build upon? In my case I don't want to do that. So I've just ticked only search within Creative Commons and find content to use commercially. This search is narrowing down the content and let's say I found this image here that I want to use in my article or in a presentation. I'm going to click on that image now. What I can see here is that there are some licensed images rights reserved by the photographer and I know that that's by about giving them attribution under Creative Commons. If I go to the actions area I actually can now go and view all sizes of those images. And now I can download the image. What size do I want it? And I can download that and then it says some rights reserved. So when I download the image, upload it for example into a blog or onto my Facebook page or include it in a presentation what I then do is put a source for the image and put a link back and a reference back to Lisa Dragon and also a link back to the specific page on Flickr that I found that image. I hope you found that a helpful tip in terms of how to find free royalty free images that you can use in your content online or in your presentations. If you do have questions or want to leave other tips yourself in terms of how you add images to your content and actually maintain copyright of the content originally posted by the photographer, then do come on over to facebook.com forward slash Krishna Day.